Hey, what's up? This one is paper 31 of uh, May, June 2010 for A-Level Math. Now, with that being said, obviously, let's move on to the questions we have for you today. So here we have question number one. So here we have to solve the inequality uh, for this one. And A is a positive constant. So by observation, you can see we have X and X on both sides. Since we have X on both sides, we will square both sides. That will happen. So you will have what? You will have X plus 3a square more than 4 times x minus 2a square now by squaring both sides you remove the modulus that's why you do that now if you want to expand this it will become x square plus 2 times this times this will become 6x then this square will become 9a square more than 4 times expand you will have x square minus 2 times this times this will become 4ax and this square will be 4a square uh, now we can uh, expand this or obviously you will have what x square plus 6ax plus 9a square same thing more than 4x square then we have minus 16ax and we have plus 16a square now we can simplify send everything to one side you will have what so let's send everything over here. You will have uh, this 1 minus 4 is minus 3. 6ax, send it become plus, right? So here we have minus, send this over here, become plus. That become plus 22ax plus 9a square minus 16. That should be minus what? Um, so 9 minus this should be 7. But let's double check because why not? Minus 7, yeah, so minus 7 is square. Now, obviously, we can change the sign if you want to, so it can be 3x square minus 22 um, ax plus 7a square have to be less than 0. When you change the sign, you have to change that sign as well. Now, we have to find the critical values of this equation, which is what 3x square minus 22ax plus 7a square equal to 0 now we can solve this by factorization or you can try using your formula obviously this is 3x times x 7 is uh, 7a is 7 well here we have 7a square so that will be 7a times a or 1a right now I want to get minus 22 that have to be minus 21 minus 1 x will have to be a over 3 x will have to be 7a again if you guys don't know how to factorize this you can always use your formula right so let's do this by using formula as well to see what happens you will have um, x is equal to minus b that will be this plus minus b square that will be what b square b square will be 4 84 uh, a square right minus 4 times a times c so minus 4 times a times c minus 84 a square and all this divide by the value of 2 this one that should be 6 so let's see what we will have so this will be equal to 22 a plus minus that'll be 400 a square over the value of 6 so simplify that will be 2 2a plus minus 20a right because root of 400 is 20 and a squared is just a now simplify x will be 22 plus 20 that should be 42 divided by 6 that will be 7a or we have uh, 22 minus 20 divided by 6 that will be 1 over 3 1 over 3a so again you can see you can use the formula to find those two critical values or you can simply factorize if you can now let's use this method here we have 0 that will be 0 here the point here will be a over 3 and this will be 7a accordingly now this one is a as you can see it is a positive value over here we know the shape of the curve will be a minimum curve because of that we care about the value below so between those two so the values of x have to be between a over 3 
and 70. Of course, I will increase to check the values if that's true or not, or, or we can have value outside or not, but usually it seems to be good. This will be the values between which x will lie. Okay, and that is your question number one. Now let's move on to question number two. So here we have to solve the equation. Solving means to find the value of, of theta. So as you can see here, we have the sine of theta. Here we have cos of two theta. Now we cannot work with angles who are different, but we can break this down into something else. We do know this by double angle formulas. Now, because here we have sine already, so let's break this down into something in sine. It will be one minus two sine square theta. Replace, you will have sine. This one is equal to two times this will be two minus four sine square this and plus one. Send everything to this side, you will have 4 sine squared theta plus sine theta. We have 2 plus this, 3. Send this over here, become minus 3 is 0. Now we can factorize. We have to have a plus 1. So let's see how can we break this down. So we can try to use 4 sine theta and sine theta. 3 is 1 times 3. To get plus 1, I have to have plus 4 minus 3. There you go. So sine theta will be 3 over 4, or sine theta will be the value of minus 1. Now one by one, let's look at this one first. So sine theta is a positive value, so that will be according to ASTC. So ASTC will be in the first quadrant, theta directly, and this one will be 180 minus theta. Theta will be sine inverse of that value. Right, so sine inverse, 3 over 4 will be what? Be 48.6. Hence, uh, this is one of the options, but the other option will be 180 minus that value. That is just 131.4. That is the first part. Now for this one over here, we have sine is negative is a negative value. So whenever it's negative, we cannot find the answer directly, as we have seen here. We have to be more uh, careful or have to do some more work. So if it is negative, ASTC, it will be here and here. This is 180 plus, uh, let's say, plus alpha, and this will be 360 minus alpha. Now again, I'm just choosing alpha as an example. You can choose anything if you want to. The idea is we cannot find, we can't find theta directly because it is negative over here. Now. To find the value of theta, I have to use first find alpha. Now what is alpha? Alpha is simple, it is sine inverse of the positive value of this one. So sine inverse of 1, that will be 90, here you go. Thus, theta will be found according to your quadrants. That will be 180 plus 90, which is 270, or 360 minus 90, which is also 270, so the same value over here. So in the end, we have to combine. So while theta will be the value of 48, this one, 131.4, and also 270 degrees. So as you can see, it will be between those two. And this is your question number two. So let's move on to question number three. So here we have variables x and y, and they satisfy this equation. x power n, y equal to c. Now, if you have uh, done, done add math in O level, usually what do we do? We want to kind of uh, simplify this. Usually we apply ln on both sides. Right, that will be ln x and y is ln of c. That will be ln of x power n plus ln of y is equal to ln of c. Now, that will be ln of this one is equal to minus n ln of x plus ln of c, right, if that makes sense. So we have an equation which resembles y equal to mx plus c of a straight line. But anyways, we can use that or we can use this to find the values that we need to find. Now, when x is equal to this, y is this, and when y is this, and x is this, y is this, use that to find the values of n and c. So one by one, let's see what equation we can form again. You can always begin with that one. So I don't want to confuse you guys. We can begin with that one if you want to for now. So we have when x is equal to the value of 
y was given to you by 5.2 so if you begin with that you will eventually end with that so let's let's just use that one directly <laughs> you have ln of 5.2 is equal to minus n ln of 1.1 plus ln of c now next one uh, we have what we have 1x is equal to the value of 3.2 y is the value of 1.05 so let's see. So let's plug it in. We have ln of 1.05 is equal to minus n ln of 3.2 plus ln of c. So here we have two unknowns. As you can see, we have equation number one, equation number two. This is unknown, unknown, and this is unknown, unknown. So what I can do right now is I can make ln of c become a subject. So you will have ln of 1.05 uh, plus n ln of 3.5 prone to sorry that's one option so let's replace this back in the other equation so you will have ln of 5.2 minus n ln of 1.1 plus ln of 1.05 plus n ln of 3.2 so let's simplify so I will send this over here of ln of 5.2 minus ln of 1.05 for this one I can factorize n you will have this and you will have ln of 3.2 minus ln of 1.1 right now I can simplify you will have what ln of 5.2 divided by 1.05 is equal to n of ln of 3.2 divided by 1.1 so let's simplify and see what happens. So 5.2 divided by 1.05 is something not exact. So again, there's no need to simplify if you don't want to. But to find the value of n, n will be what? Ln of this value over here divided by ln of this value over here. Let's see what happens. We have ln of 5.2 over 1.05 divided by ln of 3.2 over 1.1 that will be 1.498 3sf that should be 1.50 that is my value of n now using this find the value of ln of c so ln of c will be what ln of 1.05 plus 1.5 uh, ln of 3.2 so we can combine those two so ln of c has to be ln of 1 point this one 0 0.05 multiplied by 3.2 power 1.5 right makes sense we can send this to the power and because we have plus it will be multiplied so this we have ln on both sides they will go away so c will be this value which is what 1.05 multiplied by 3.2 power 1.5 that will be 6.01 correct to 3SF. Again, there's no need to go through all this if you don't want to. But eventually, I think you will have to use ln either way afterwards. But the idea is, using the given values, we have to form equations. We have to form two simultaneous equations. And using those equations, finding the value of n and c. This is one way of doing that. It, it's not too bad. It takes some time. But eventually, you will find your answer. Now for part two. Explain why the graph of this and this is a straight line. So as you can see, you expand, you have to expand this. You can show well, because it resembles this one, this against this is linear, right? You say because it is linear. That's why you will form a straight line. So but again, you have to show you're working and show this is this very similar for your mark. If there's only one mark, you have to show this at least similar with the equation of a straight line that's how you show that and you will have your one mark for that that is your question number three i hope the first half of the video was somewhat helpful if you guys would love to access the full video feel free to click on the patreon link on the main page otherwise you can go to the description below and click on this link to access the patreon page for the full video with that being said good luck and thank you for watching